Yo guys, what is up? It's RSA. I'm back in here with another video and this is going to be part 2 to building my ultimate setup. So let's get straight into this. So guys, this is how my room looks like at the moment. I've got my chair. If you didn't watch part 1 to building my ultimate setup, I suggest that you check this out. So last episode, what I did was set up this mic, my laptop and also um, this monitor. Okay, this is just my iPad. This is not part of the setup. And yeah, so today what we're going to be doing is having an Xbox right there. That's going to be hooked up with my Elgato, which is probably going to be somewhere like down there. And that's going to be connected to my laptop, then my Xbox will be playing on this screen and then I can record games and then stream on Twitch with this mic. Yeah, and this is my wardrobe, not a wardrobe again, I made a mistake last episode as well. This is my cupboard, so in here I'm probably going to have like Apple products displayed up all here and like different gaming figures and all that. So the first thing we need to do now is go and get my Xbox. So guys, here I have my Xbox One S right here. I've got my capture card and I have all my wires that I require so I'm going to need to take this back upstairs because um, the Xbox and everything like that was in my living room and now I'm going to take it back upstairs because this is going to be in my setup. And yeah, this is my PS4 right here and yeah, let's put this straight. This is going to go back upstairs as well but not yet, that's going to be like in part 3 or part 4. Yes, yeah, so let's go back upstairs again. So guys, we're back in my room and this is everything. And um, yeah, so let's start fixing this all up and putting it all together. But the first thing we also need to get is my Alexa. I have an Amazon Alexa and I think this will go great in my setup. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get that now and put that in here. This is my Amazon Alexa, so Alexa, how are you? Great, ready to help. Yeah, so we need to take this upstairs right now and disconnect it from the plugs which are right there. Guys, I've just brought my Alexa in my room. Before we do anything, I think you need to vacuum this room because there's like little papers everywhere. So let's start doing that. So guys, I've just finished vacuuming up everything. It looks much cleaner now. So let's start hooking up the Xbox to the laptop. So let's do this. So guys, what I want to do now is connect my Algata to my Xbox. And then from the Algata, I want to connect it straight to my laptop. So yes, yeah, so let's do that. Right, so here's my Algata. And um, I think I'm going to need a HDMI to go on one side. The last time I've done this was like two years ago. So let's plug this straight into here. And from here, let's plug this into the back of the Xbox. So I'm going to plug it into the back of one of these HDMI ports. So it's HDA out. So I'm sure it's going to be this one. If it doesn't work, we'll just change it around. You're going to need the power cable for the Algato. This is how it looks like on one side, and the other side looks like this. So let's plug this side into here. And it's this side actually. What's this is in here? There we go. This is in there, and now this side is going to go into my laptop. So before we do that, we need to plug one side of the HDMI into the Xbox. Oh, we've done that. So if we've done this, all we should do now is plug this into the laptop. So yeah, I'll just change the camera around so I can see what I'm doing. So let's get the arm back door, put it around the back. First of all, let's move the Alexa and put it over here. Move the Alexa's wire and my iPad, which I have no idea what it's doing in my room and I don't even need it. Put that over there. Put this Xbox into the corner here. We have the Xbox there and now we're just going to plug it into the laptop. So, yeah, let's get the HDMI now. Get the USB cable from. Oh, I've dropped the Algato. So, what we need to do is get this, plug it into this side. I've already done this already because I dropped it and it came out, so yeah. Once I've plugged this into this, this is going to go into my laptop over there, so yeah. Bring this around the back. Look, now we have a problem. The problem is that this USB port on this adapter is being used up like this. So I need to go and get an adapter. Another one just like this one. Guys, I'm back and I've got the adapter, so what I need to do now is plug it into the laptop and yeah let's plug this straight into the laptop here plug this into here hopefully it all works as, it, as it's expected plug this into here and there we go the Algato is a um, powering up it just had lights on there and just turned off so let me just unplug it I plug it back in so you guys can see that it's working there you go guys as you can see it's white lines and now it's red so yeah, that's a good sign that it seems to be working. So what I need to do now is get another HDMI cable, plug one into the monitor and from the monitor straight into the Algato. So it's weird that the Algato uses two HDMIs. 
just for one output. Actually, no, it gives like two outputs because the game from there goes to the monitor and then to my laptop. So, which is why it requires two HDMI's. I think this HDMI came with the Elgato inside, and I love it. It's quite good quality, and yeah, Elgato is always what I recommend. It's one of the best um, capture cards out there. Like there's other ones called like Rovi Proxy cards, something like that. They're absolutely rubbish. These are the best ones. They're expensive, I think it's about. 145, 140 pounds, about 170 dollars. I paid for this, but it's well worth every single penny. So what we should do now is disconnect the HDMI that's already connected to my MacBook from the back here. There we go. And get rid of that. So we have one spare HDMI. I want to get my two old monitors, and we can get rid of this now. Here we go. It's gone. Just plug this into the back of this monitor. All right, guys. So I've just plugged this into the monitor, and yeah. Let's power everything up and see if it works. Then let's put this one on the back. But firstly, I've made a mistake. It's the power cable for the Xbox. If my Xbox doesn't receive power, then how will it come on? So I need to get the power cable for the Xbox. I have the power cable right here, and I'm going to be plugging this into the back of this Xbox. Okay, the power cable seems to be in. Now all we need to do is plug this into here. If you guys are thinking I'm running out of ports, don't worry, I'll have an extension cable in my next episode. So that's all gonna be fine. Okay, let's power on the Xbox. It's all coming on perfect. Let's power on the monitor from the bottom here. The monitor seems to be coming on as well. Everything seems to be going as planned. There we go, Xbox is working fine. Yes, we've done this guys, so what? let's do this now, so, because the Xbox is working now, now we need to see if it works on my laptop, which is right here, let's go on my launch pad and open game capture, so let's see if it works, let's remind me later, no, is the HP, it's not working, yes guys, it's working fine, there we go, as you can see, everything's working fine, it's now connected to Xbox Live, I think it's because I've moved upstairs, but don't worry about that, because I'll be fixing that up right now, there is a problem, okay. I think it's working, there we go guys. It's working, I've got Forza Horizon 3 in there at the moment, and yeah. Here's my Amazon Alexa, and let's start setting that up. Guys, before we set up the Alexa, I'm gonna make a time lapse of me sorting out all these wires and also setting up the Alexa. So let's put a time lapse on starting from now. Here we go guys, everything's been cable managed, like not good. But I'm gonna do it properly, like I said in my other episode when I fully finish myself. So I'm gonna put this right here. I want it right in the corner there so it's ease of access and it picks up my voice file. And that's plugging the wire to the Alexa, which is the power cable, because it only takes one cable, which is right here. Now there's no power socket, so I'm gonna go and get an extension an extension lead for with like uh, more plugs. So there we go guys, we have my extension cable. I'm gonna plug that into there right now. Let's make another quick little time lapse of me doing it because it's really boring to watch. So yeah, let's make a quick little time lapse. Alright guys, so I've just set up the extension cable as you can see. Now we're gonna plug this into there and then straight into the Alexa, which is right over there. And then let's get the camera up. There we go. So yeah, let's do that now. Plug that into there. From here into the back of the Alexa. I really like how they made this space in the Alexa where like it goes straight through um it goes straight through there and into the back which is like right in there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it yet. Yeah. So yeah, let's plug that into the Alexa. Alright guys, so I've just plugged this into the Alexa and everything seems to be working fine. So look it matches with my white Xbox and my white Alexa and then everything at that time is black. So it's like a kind of a colour theme. So um let's see if Alexa actually works. Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in it's 16 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Yeah. Today's forecast has rainy weather with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. Okay, so that all works. I like how this like mesh thing on my Xbox One S matches this. It goes really well, like well together. So yeah, this is my setup at the moment. And let's see if everything works on this side. Actually, I've just forgot my controller. So I want to go and get my controller. So guys, yeah, I've got my controller and um, everything seems to be working fine. I'm having a bit of trouble with OBS, apparently it doesn't work with Mac, so I need to figure that out, but yeah, look, it works, everything I do on there comes on there, yeah, this is it, it always works, I can record and play, 
this is something I just recorded with OBS and it's working fine here we go. Look at that, I'm just playing the game and play fit. It lags a bit so I need to fix that up but yeah. Here it is guys, so let's have some cinematics to show you. <laughs> episode of um, building my um, ultimate setup stay tuned for the third episode and yeah thank you for watching hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the videos are and other than that it's been RSL I'm out